Well, hello there. Uh, we're going to try another test here with this Sun distributor machine that's been upgraded. Uh, we got it all the spec here with uh, new electronics. We have this 1970 67 Oldsmobile uh, distributor. We're doing a final test on it. We put it all back together with new bushings. So you want to give it a try. Uh, we got the spec sheets here. We already did conduct one test, but I uh, just want to do this to show everybody how this thing works. Uh, another thing, Opera asked me to show you guys a more simplified schematic of how this machine actually operates here. And uh, this is pretty much it. Let's take it out of the folder here. So you can see it more plain. So this is, this is basically all the electronics that he developed and uh, put together for me. There's the module right here. And uh, then the, the circuitry goes to the rotating uh, uh, arrow pointer there. It, it's, it's all low voltage, 120 volts input to this uh, transformer. And you can see all the wiring, how it all goes in. Uh, he did add a, a, a 5 volt DC phone charger, which goes to the module and gives you the dwell flash a little brighter. So that's how that works. Uh, here's a pretty good view of it again so if you want to uh, take a snapshot of this thing you get an understanding it's, it's it's not that complicated actually it's pretty nice so going back to the Sun machine uh, with this Oldsmobile 67 distributor we're gonna turn the, the thing on and uh, these run counterclockwise I did uh, do a little more uh, this is the calculator for it so since we know we got an eight cylinder we want to have this exactly 45 degrees which is uh, eight parts of the thing here so this, the distributor is all set up here, uh, and we're going to start her up. So I just did this test, and uh, we're going to go through it again. But um, basically, basically, you start off about uh, 200 RPM to zero in the machine. You can see the dwells about, it fluctuates. But get down about 200 RPM here, if I can. Kind of touchy at low speeds, but eh. it's just moseying along at 200. So that's around 200. I'm not going to get that close, but uh, I don't know if you can see the, the, the markers here if they're showing up at all. It's kind of hard at low speed, but we're going to set this arrow right for zero because that's what we want to be. We want zero advance right here at this point. And there, you, there you can see it. Uh, I got to look at it myself here to make sure I'm right there. Okay, so it's about zero right there. Okay, so with the specs, it tells us that um, if we run this distributor with vacuum advance, um, It starts giving you vacuum advance of six to eight inches. So let, let's do that first. It's, it's low speed. Turn the vacuum motor on. And it says six to eight. So going through this, I'm gonna go right to seven, which is between six to eight. And uh, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, it's starting to get, it's about a half a degree. It's already moving. Let's go, let's go to 8 and see what happens. See if we get any more movement at 8. And the same thing, it's about a half to 1 degree. Now it also tells us that at, um, we'll get 9 degrees of advance at 15 and a half to 19 and a half inches of vacuum. So let's run this up to 15 and a half. We'll, we'll go to, uh, well, that's 16, so that's 15 and a half. And what are we doing here? It's hard to see, but we have, we have, uh, boy, we have close to seven and a half inches of vacuum. So, that's not too bad. Let's, let's go up to, uh, like it said, 19, 19 and a half inches. Let's see what it gives us. Again, yeah, it's slow speed, it's hard to see. Um, we're just over eight. We're about eight and a half inches. From what I'm seeing here, almost nine. And they say we should have nine degrees 
Uh, I suspect if we give it a little more vacuum, let's see what it's giving us here. Uh, it's just about eight, so the vacuum advance works pretty good. So we're going to turn that back down, turn the vacuum pump off, and we should return back to zero. And uh, there we are at zero. Okay, it also tells us that if we run this distributor at 400 RPM, we'll get zero to, to two degrees of advance at 400 RPM. So let's bring this thing up to about 400. About 400, there we are. We should get zero to two degrees. And what do you know? That's about what we got. We got about, um, oh, we got two degrees. Okay. So then it tells us if we run this distributor up to 900 RPM, we're going to get six to eight degrees of advance. So let's, let's. About 900 RPM. And let's see how much advance we got. We got five. Let's try to get a better reading here. We got eight and a half degrees. And it says at uh, 900 we should get six to eight, so we're eight and a half. We're, we're right, right in specs there. Then it tells us at 2,000 distributor RPM we should get 10 to 12. Okay, so let's. There we are, 2,000 RPM. We're at 29.4 as well. And look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's 11 degrees of advance. You can't beat that. 11 degrees of advance. And we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put this dwell flash on and see how that works. And there you can see the dwell flashes on. That shows you the amount of dwell between the Opening and closing, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go. That's, that's right between there is the dwell for each uh, lobe of the can. That, that thing is spinning there at that time. So that's pretty much how you have it here. Um, dwell flash is a nice feature here. I don't know if you can see it real well, but uh, that's when it's on, and then we turn it off. So there you have it, uh, the Sun Distributor Tester with Modern Electronics from uh, Opera, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.